Right, I managed to get one of the rings under the piston without breaking it. I didn't video it because if I videoed this, I guarantee that ring would have broke. I'll video the next one. I'm going to try and get the ring into the ball. You can see it's still got its, its nice gap. There's plenty of tension on it. The piston is a good fit. And that's the ring there, wanting to go in. What you don't do, you don't try and poke it in with two screwdrivers. You make a piston ring clamp. Uh, you could use a Jubilee clip. But it takes nothing to make a clamp. To squeeze the ring in to put it in. I have got a proper piston ring clamp at work. Uh, that I've used for years and years. An adjustable one. But it, it, it just takes minutes to make a ring clamp. Um, I'll make one now. And we'll try and get that piston into that, into that bowl. I've got some spring steel band in here that will be ideal to make the ring clamp out of. You can use anything really. Uh, aluminium works, it doesn't have to be anything fantastic. First thing I'll do is bend the end to 90 degrees. I'll use this side of the vise. These aluminium soft jaws have been abused. I've only got myself to blame because that's only me uses it. Right, so we need to Bend that across to 90 degrees. Like that. And we'll wrap this around the piston or around something the same size as the piston. It's actually a little bit springy this, but I think it'll, it'll do the job. All we do is wrap it round. Something softer would have been better, but this will do the job. I'm going to bend that end over as well. Before we try and put the piston into the bore, we'll give it a nice liberal coat of oil to show the bore as well. Ring clamp goes on, you put the gap into the, the centre of the ring clamp. You need enough tension on it. Compress the ring, but not that much that the, the piston won't move in the clamp. That feels quite nice. Into there. Right and gently. Tap it in, that's it. That's it fitted without any damage. It's a nice tight fit in there. That's just with one ring on. Right, this is a new consumer unit with this big heavy feed coming in. That's the air lane. I've got a proper air dryer there, water separator. It's very important that plasma cutting equipment has nice clean dry air. This is the setup I've got. You can see I haven't got a great lot of room. That's the Autec plasma cutter itself there. That's a control console and that's a table. It's basically all ready to go now. That's the 32 amp power feed for it as well as the 240 volt that powers the extractor fan and the computers. I've got one more connection to make. That's the air from the dryer into the back of the plasma cutter. I need to go from quarter BSP mail to quarter BSP meal and <laughs> of all the connectors I've got I haven't got a one but what I have got is a lathe and plenty of bits of metal so we'll go and make a little adapter to join the quarter to quarter and hopefully we can get this up and running.
I think so I need a pipe fitting to go from quarter BSP to quarter. I've got boxes of fittings and I haven't got one of them. This steel bar here will make it out of that. I don't think that's stainless, I'll just check. Right, that is stainless, we'll not bother with that. Right, there's a bit of ordinary male steel here, I just don't want to waste the stainless, that's all for it. What to do, this is some, just some round bar I got given, nothing fantastic but it'll do for what it needs to, needs to be. Pilot drill through and then a 716 on 11 mil. It's a good tap and drill size for quarter BSP. I don't want to go the same because it wants to be a, not a parallel thread, actually a bit of a taper thread. The top has got quite a good taper on it. Slow things down a little bit. PTFE tape is ideal for sealing threads like this. In the good old days, I would have used asbestos and white lead and those are the horrible, toxic, nasty things. But now we've got PTFE. This is the quarter of a quarter pipe fitting. You don't have to buy one, but you can't buy one. It's half past three on a Sunday afternoon when you want to play with your plasma cutter.
spot on. Just what we need. Once again, it just remains to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in. Incidentally, the arm's getting better. Uh, I was at physio this week. I still can't fully straighten it or fully bend it, but it's going the right way. It's getting more and more movement all the time. Uh, it's getting stronger. It aches. It, um, I'm impatient. It's only been five weeks, and I'm talking 12 weeks to get it back to anywhere near the way it was. But when you consider what happened to us, I consider myself very, very lucky indeed. Thanks for watching. Just going to do the job. Oh, you twat! Clumsy bastard, you. Johnny, man. Bollocks, man. Oh, Peter, you are you? <laughs> John, run your belly in. I can't think of a worse material to use than this bastard stuff. John, man. <laughs>